Now let's take a look at how we can create this program. We'll start in Visual Studio, where we can start clicking on the File menu on the top left. I'll click File, New, and then Project. You'll notice that there's a shortcut here that says Control Shift N, which means that I could type in Control Shift N on my keyboard instead of coming from the top menu. This lets me select Visual C Sharp as my language, and I can select the type of application, in this case, console application. I can call it My Awesome App and choose where I'd like to save it. I'm going to click OK. Visual Studio creates my new solution. It automatically adds the using statements on the top. It uses my project name as my namespace. And it automatically inserts a program class with an empty main method. So this one doesn't do anything. Um, if you run it, it'll just start and stop immediately. So let's go ahead and open one of my sample projects so you can look at language syntax. I'll go ahead and close this project. And I'll take a look at the language syntax project that I've already created. This shows you some additional code I've added to the program to highlight some language syntax. So if I were to run this program, it should write out my age. In this case, my age has been initialized to 25 right here. I did try to add the new value for a new name. You'll notice here I have this commented out because this will not compile. New name, if you recall, is actually a string value with the words another name. If I start to assign it to 25, that will fail. So I have slash slash in front of it to comment it out. After this console.write line to write my age to the screen, I have another console.write line to write my name. So I have my age and my name. Finally, I have console.read key towards the bottom. Uh, in between, you may have noticed that I do have another incomplete line that's commented out. Uh, anytime you have code that you're uh, running, uh, you can try out additional code during practice and comment them out if you don't need it. Uh, ideally, you should always delete code when you don't need it anymore. All right, so what happens if I run this? If I run it the first time, you'll notice here that it has uh, two words in there, or two lines of output. One is 25, and one is Chris. So 25 is my age being written into the screen. And the next line, Chris, comes from reassigning the my name variable. Initially, it was Bob, and then it was reset to Chris. So that's what's getting set. So now we know that when variables get reassigned, you'll always have the newer value being held in the variable. So let's go ahead and close the program now. 